Coming up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division encounter. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing this fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record of 18 wins, five losses. He stands 65 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander Ramallo Gustafsson. And now, this is opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 186 pounds. Fighting out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Awesome! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, we will be lobbying. All right, we are underway now. Good to have you with us as we broadcast live from Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario. Well, he's been in there with the best in the game. John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Oh, 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 huge right hand! Knee to the body. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. He's doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. And there he swung with a haymaker. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Front kick to the body by Gustafson. There he goes, turning side kick. Another front kick landed there by Alexander Gustafson. Up against the cage here, Joe. And dizzy as he looks to improve position here. He's trying to go after an arm here. And he escaped the Kimura. He's trying to step over, full mount now. Oh, right hand is there for him, Joe. Vicious elbow. elbow lands to the head. Hip escape, nice hip escape. Posture's up here. Oh man, that cut not in a good place. And it's not getting any better. The ground and pound has been there all night. The ground strikes continue to pile up. Oh, really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. And he connects with the punch there. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Oh, good punches from the top here. Lands a strike there. Oh, he moves right into that uppercut, Joe. That is not a good look and not something that he can afford to do here moving forward. Lands a nice kick. And he eats a right hand there. <sighs> Tries a big hook to the head, but misses. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Big power shot there. Oh, a lot of these strikes are finding the target, Joe. He's staying busy. Good shot to the body. That landed. Oh, there's the single. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Excellent movement here on the ground. Gustafson gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Clean hammer fist. And again with the hammer fist. Now he's got a guillotine. He's got that guillotine locked in. That choke is deep. And this might just be That's a matter it. of time. It. And there it is. He got the choke for the tap. So yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep, perfect technique, and ultimately that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. Let's see it again here. Deep guillotine choke, full guard for the tap.
And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. We go inside the Octagon. Ladies Bruce Buffer the has the official decision. Contest at three minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Alexander the Mauler So congratulations to Alexander Gustafsson. You know he's got the entire nation of Sweden on his back and he rises to the occasion yet again. I really feel like when Gustafsson puts it all together, he looks like the best light heavyweight on the planet. And you gotta think just how exciting he is and how skilled a technician he is that he will eventually get that UFC gold before his career is said and done.